Hey guys, it's Julie, and this is a quick flip through of the Rusted Lenormand by our very own Don Michelle over at Boho Tarot. I've been playing around with this deck for a little bit, and I wanted to do a video because I think Don Michelle doesn't brag enough about this deck, <laughs> and she she really should. It's it's a wonderful deck. I really enjoy it. If I didn't, I I wouldn't be doing a video on it. I usually don't like stock photography in decks uh, at the risk of sounding like a, a jerk head face, but of course there are exceptions and this deck is definitely one of them. As you'll see as I go through the cards, Dawn Michelle is just, you could tell she was very thoughtful and deliberate with the images she chose and how she stylized and added to each image. And together this deck just really feels you know, so inviting and just very cohesive. And there isn't a single image I don't like. So I'll take you through the deck. And then at the end, I will show you uh, some of the tarot and oracle decks that I've been pairing the Rusted Lenormand with or plan to pair the deck with. This deck is available on MakePlainCards.com, and of course, I will leave a link so that you can grab your own copy. This is a bridge size deck, I believe, and here are the backs, which are lovely. And here is the title card. We have the rider. I appreciate that the title is very legible and you have it numbered as well as the playing association at the bottom. Clover. Ship. House. Tree. Love the colors clouds and we have the light and the dark for those readers who uh, use directionality snake i really like how the snake is a more neutral depiction it doesn't look like it's about ready to rip your face off coffin i like this rendition as well of the coffin you have more of an implied sense of the coffin with the tombstone that says, endings bring a close, so new things may begin. Bouquet. Scissors, an appropriate replacement for scythe. Broom. Birds. Child. Fox, bear, I love this card. And I love this card, it's one of my favorites. Stars, stork, dog, tower, garden, mountain, Paths, mice, this is so cute, heart, ring, book, letter, and then you have a few options for the, um, what's traditionally the gentleman and the lady card. So you have partner, and then you have, oops, sorry, Seeker. So that's one pairing you could use. Then there is also a Significator and another Significator. And I mean, really you can use this in any combination. I think I've been using it more like this. I think I've, I, these are the two that I've chosen to use, so. Any combination looks lovely. 
Lily, Sun, Moon, another beautiful one, Key, Fish, Anchor, and Cross. And then she also includes a card with her information. So again, just a beautifully cohesive deck. It's soft. It definitely succeeds in that rusted, um, vintage, antique aesthetic. And I'm just loving all of the images. There's not a single image that bothers me. Now, for those of you who enjoy pairing your Lenormand with other tarot or oracle, I will show you some combinations that I have used or plan to use. And we'll start off with the Mystical Cats Tarot, which is a deck that I have used with the Rusted Lenormand. And I just think they work really well together. just so look at that it's like they were made for each other the tarot deck that i chose today to pair with the rusted lane armand is the raven's prophecy tarot and i have trimmed my copy so i don't know how it would look Paired with the um, Rustaline Romand, if it were not modified, I'm assuming it would look just as good. See, isn't that gorgeous? So this worked really well today. I will definitely be pairing these two together more often. Another pairing I intend to try very soon is the Steampunk Tarot. How great does that look? So even though this is stock photography and I don't have other decks that are also stock photography, it's still a really malleable deck to pair with other, other decks. An Oracle deck that I have used along with the Rusted Lean Armand is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. And I think these are a perfect match as well because this also has a very vintage, antique feel to them. Finally, I plan to play around with the Wisdom of the Golden Path Oracle. I hope that you enjoyed this flip through of the Rusted Lane Armand. Again, this is a wonderful deck. It's an easy reader. It's a clear reader. And it pairs beautifully with other decks. So for those of you who do read Lane Armand, I would highly suggest giving this deck a try. Take care.